Hey folks, hope you're doing well. Uh, this video is going to be a kind of a review tutorial of that um, that mandala kind of style Photoshop project that we went over in class. First thing you're going to do is open up an image that you want to turn into your kind of mandala uh, coloring project. Uh, and for me, I'm going to use this photo of the chimney that I took during our uh, our photo walk. Right, so. Open it up and you should have it as your background right right when you open it up and it's going to serve as our background layer uh, for nearly the entire project so it's just going to sit here at the bottom. Now a few things you want to do before actually getting started is to maybe set up your workspace a little bit. I like to have my grid on so hit command and the quotation marks button on your keyboard to toggle on and off your grid. Now, if your grid doesn't look quite like mine, that's okay. It's up to really your preference. But if you want it to be uh, similar to mine, I would go to Photoshop, go to Preferences, and then go to Guides, Grids, and Slices. And then right here under the Grid section, have it as one grid line, every, every grid line, every one uh, pixel, right? And subdivisions, yours might be on four. I think one is enough for me. Four gets a little too, uh, it's a little too wild for me. There's a lot of stuff going on. It really bothers my eyes. So hit OK, and you should have something similar to what I have. Now, next thing we're going to do is get our tools ready. We're actually not going to use the paintbrush. We're going to use the uh, pencil tool. So, or, and we get our pencil tool by going over to our paintbrush item, and we just either hold alt and click or we just hold down our click and it kind of opens up the family in the drop down menu and we hit pencil okay and we go back now to use pencil we need to actually mark something right so I'm gonna hit the new layer button layer one I'm gonna name this one black outline and as as the name implies, it is going to be the outline of our chimney. Okay, so uh, you're going to want to make sure you have the right size for the outline. You can either go up to the options bar and select the size. Just make sure your hardness is on 100, um, or you could right-click and just get that menu here. I think 10 is fine for me, and I'm going to zoom in just to get a better shot. Really, I'm just going to trace it to the best of my abilities. And all right, so I got my outline done and time to move on to the next step. This may actually vary depending on what your, uh, what your photograph is of. But for mine, I've identified that I do have the white areas, uh, the cement, right, that kind of is holding together all these bricks. Uh, and I'm gonna do the same exact thing except change the color of my pencil to white. I'm gonna actually make my brush size smaller, so maybe a five. And then I'm gonna actually create a new layer. And we're gonna call this white cement. Your naming convention can be whatever you want, but for me, this is the easiest way for me to uh, identify things. So I'm gonna paint in between the bricks. And as you can already imagine, this is going to be a very long process and it's going to be very difficult to kind of stay within the lines but that's okay this is meant to be an imperfect style art form okay so we have the black and white uh, outline the skeleton of our chimney and if we toggle it on and off we can see that if we toggle the original photo off and we can really see this is all we have left. Next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to toggle this thing back on. I'm going to create another layer. I'm just going to call this bricks, red bricks. Okay. And I'm going to actually use my eyedropper tool to sample the red brown. Um, and now you can tell that I'm going to be painting that. Okay, so now I'm going to go in and actually color these bricks. Yes, I'm going to color them one by one. Okay, so I'm going to actually increase my size to maybe 10. 
And I'm actually going to take a very rough approach to this, as you can see. Right? I'm coloring in very roughly. And I'm even getting uh, my red over the black and white. That's okay. Right? Because if I move my red layer under the white, right, it hides it. It conceals it. I can even move it under the black outline, and it conceals that as well. So, but I'm going to keep it for the time being at the top of the stack, just so I can see where I'm going. Okay, so we're done here. If I kind of toggle this off, this is the real, uh, the madness, I guess you can say, that I've done. I've colored all my bricks. Uh, I even maybe resampled occasionally to give it a different shade of red, different shade of uh, red brown that is. Right, so you can see I can actually drag it under and it doesn't cover those certain elements. Unless that's what you want. Again, it's up to you entirely. But I'm gonna turn this back on, create a new layer, and I'm gonna call this the black base. And what this is gonna do is fill in all, if I isolate everything, it's going to fill in everything underneath the, uh, I guess, this rough paint job I did. So my black base layer, I'm going to actually switch back to black, and then I'm going to get a really big paintbrush this time, maybe 25. Um, no, maybe bigger, actually. I'm going to get 50. Uh, sure, that works. Okay, and I'm just going to go go to town. Okay. Make sure you're painting on the right layer. And you're gonna get, you're gonna want to get everything, okay? Okay, and this is what you get after you've colored uh, your chimney thoroughly, right? Uh, in its own right, I think this actually looks pretty unique. Maybe you wanna take this a different uh, direction, but for me, I'm gonna finish up with this mandala-like uh, project. I'm gonna take my black base and drag it under the red bricks layer. And now, right, it kind of fills in everything. It gives it a nice, nice uh, texture, right, that we normally um, get when seeing things. And I can actually turn it off and on and see what it really does, right? I toggle off the background. So you're starting to see everything come together. And really, you're going to do this the same for everything else. Okay, so like I said, we've proceeded on to actually filling in uh, the rest of our chimney, for example, there is the new light brown layer here. I can toggle that on and off and you can see what that is. Up top, the light red, right, with some uh, white. I just called it white too because I'm running out of names. But yeah, it does a pretty good job and I can toggle off my grid to kind of give us an, a, a look at what we've got so far. So hopefully this gives you a good idea of how everything works. We know how to work with layers already, so this shouldn't be too difficult. It's really just about how you stack everything you've done up to this point. Uh, so, all right, I hope this was uh, kind of a fun project. Maybe you can do if you're in a pod. If you have any questions, please let me know. Uh, but regardless, I think this should be pretty um, a pretty good use of your time if you are in pods. So uh, let me know if you have any questions. If not, I'll see you in class. All right, y'all, bye.